Hyperparathyroidism is an excess of parathyroid hormone in the bloodstream due to overactivity of one or more of the four parathyroid glands. It affects twice as many women as men, with one in every 250 women over the age of 50 having the disease. And roughly 100,000 people are diagnosed with hyperparathyroidism every year in the United States. A great majority are not treated. Part of the hormonal system, the parathyroid glands are almost exclusively responsible for the regulation of calcium levels in the bloodstream. Calcium is a vital nutrient in the body, used by every single cell for normal daily function. It's responsible for transferring messages between nerves, building bones, and so much more. If calcium levels are not exactly right, a variety of problems occur, including bone loss, intestinal symptoms, kidney disease, and mental disturbances. Long-standing elevation in calcium places a heavy burden on the body. Humans have four parathyroid glands. Because of their extremely important function to regulate calcium, they're the only organ in the body that we have four copies of. To regulate calcium, the parathyroid gland can release parathyroid hormone, or PTH, into the blood. To detect calcium levels in the blood, each individual parathyroid cell has a calcium sensor, which acts like a thermostat. When calcium levels are high, the gland shuts down and the PTH level decreases. When calcium levels are low, the gland produces PTH, which pours into the bloodstream. The PTH, or parathyroid hormone, eventually enters the bones and activates cells that reabsorb and remodel the bone, thereby releasing calcium into the blood. In addition, the hormone instructs the kidneys to absorb calcium back from urine. And finally, it changes vitamin D to its active form, which helps the intestines absorb calcium from food, thereby increasing the calcium in the blood. The majority of the time, parathyroid tumors are located in one of the four glands. A parathyroid tumor is, in most cases, a benign tumor that grows to an abnormal size. As it grows, it releases more parathyroid hormone, thus causing hyperparathyroidism. The tumor develops when there's a disturbance in the sensor on a single parathyroid cell. The thermostat level for the calcium changes to a higher number for that cell, while the remaining cells and glands stay at a lower, normal setting. As the calcium level rises, the normal parathyroid cells and glands shut down, while the abnormal cell continues to produce PTH. Just like muscles, cells that work multiply and get bigger, while cells and glands that don't get smaller. Gradually in time, the calcium level increases until it reaches the set point of the abnormal parathyroid's thermostat setting. Because hyperparathyroidism is caused by the abnormality in the sensor, the high calcium level will continue as long as the abnormal parathyroid tissue is present. This can lead to weakening of the bones due to continuous bone reabsorption and remodeling, causing osteoporosis and fracturing of the bone. High concentrations of calcium in the kidney leads to development of stones, which can affect the function of the kidney. High calcium levels can also cause the nervous system to become sluggish, leading to fatigue, memory loss, poor concentration, anxiety, and even depression. High calcium can even cause stiffening of blood vessels and high blood pressure. As with the nerves, it can cause sluggish conduction irregularities in the heart that can cause rhythm abnormalities and palpitations. High calcium in the intestines leads to acid reflux and constipation. Overall, high calcium levels are associated with a decreased life expectancy and increased chances of certain cancers, including colon, kidney, breast, and prostate. There is no effective long-term medical therapy available to treat hyperparathyroidism. Medications don't cure the problem. Parathyroid disease only gets worse with time. It will continually change and will not get better on its own. The only cure is surgery. For more information, contact the Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery at 310-461-0300 or parathyroidmd.com.